This episode of Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Cool. So uh, we're on to my favorite segment of the show, uh, Maker Mailbag. Mm -hmm. We had two guys write in to us, and they were so excited about their custom electronic brew controller, and they shot a little video of us, uh, of themselves. Here's Brett Martin and Jay Maslar from uh, Black Heart Brewery in Binghamton. Uh, check it out. Hey, Becky and Matt. And hello to all the makers out there. I'm Brett. I'm Jay. And we wanted to share our cool automated home brewing system with you guys. It took us a few tries, but the system we see behind us is Hermes 2.0. Hermes can make 10 gallons of beer and is an all-grain brewing system that is operated by a microcontroller. All-grain brewing works best when you can heat and cool to exact temperatures. Our brew system is made up of three individual kettles that work together to make one 10-gallon batch of beer. In the first kettle, we heat water. In the second kettle, we take that hot water and we mix it with crushed grains. This extracts the sugars that are inside the crushed grains. After a specific period of time, we then pump that sugar water into this third kettle here. We then boil it much like you would on the stove for home brewing, where we do our hop additions and then cool it as fast as possible. By using temperature sensors and microcontrollers, we're able to precisely measure temperature and control the entire brewing process. Often, home brewers will use a manual ball valve like this one here. What makes automatic brewing possible for us is us using electronic controlled valves like this one here. We experimented with an Arduino at first and eventually switched over to a microcontroller board developed just for brewing called the Brewtroller. The Brewtroller lets us control our system's 12 liquid valves, 2 pumps, and 2 gas valves as well as read temperatures and volumes inside each of our kettles. A simple LCD and rotary encoder allow us to program target temperatures and times into the brew troller for each recipe. This is the manual side to the Hermes control panel. This allows us to open and close our valves, turn on and off our pumps, as well as display our entire liquid flow system, as well as tell us which components are on and off. Don't be intimidated by the inside of our control panel. Most of this is all power related connections. The part we want to focus on is the brew troller pieces on the top. Up here you can see the brew troller circuit board and microcontroller with the add-on boards that allow us to sense temperature and have USB data logging. Below it we have two different relay boards that allow us to control all the various voltages that we need to run our brew system. The next step is to fully automate our brew system so we can control everything remotely. We love brewing so much, we're already planning our next, even bigger brewing system. By next year, we plan on starting our nano brewery and brewing on a 100-gallon system. But it doesn't matter how much beer you brew. The best part about brewing beer is sharing something you made with others. Cheers to all the makers out there. And all the home brewers. Thanks, Becky and Matt. Thanks, Brett and Jay. Uh, keep an eye on your mailbox. Uh, we'll be sending you a maker's notebook. And if you want more information about uh, their uh, their operation there, it's blackheartbrewery.com. 